Tell us about the Commission. Well, the Commission on Aging, as you mentioned, has been around for a long time. It's, it's established by the Maryland Legislature basically to be sort of eyes and ears of seniors around the state to comment to the Department of Aging. So we're a part of the Department of Aging. We are there to read. So to there comment. is a State Department of Aging. There's a lot a, of folks. A, yes, don't the Secretary of Aging that. is secretarial cabinet level. Uh, so we that that wasn't that old. That's a yeah, that fifteen years maybe right, or so. Right. Uh, and this agency, the, I mean, our commission is within the agency to sort of advise them on the programs that they have that are statewide. So it's it's an in-house organ. You know, we're not an independent agency. We don't have independent funding. We're not really we're not charged to be an advocacy group. We're really sort of working from within the system to sort of keep things uh, addressed to the needs of older adults throughout the state. So where was the AARP? They're, well, that's they're usually the, on top it, of well, things like that. Well, I'm sure, that, you know, you wonder sometimes these things happen very fast. But yeah. so because of that, exactly right, we decided mm -hmm. to start holding statewide meetings in the State okay. Commission on Aging Office for both mm -hmm. senior advocates from throughout the state and for representatives of all the county commissions on aging throughout the state mm -hmm. and say to them, we want to serve as a clearinghouse for information for all of you. You know, we're not communicating. We're not getting the word out to people quickly enough when we need you to do, do your all job. counties in Baltimore City have a commission Almost on aging? all. There are, there are two counties that do not have any commission on aging and there are a few of them on the eastern shore that have a joint commission. Gotcha. Yeah. So but how many uh, people show up for these meetings? And well, what do you do? Uh, we had I think good. about 50 people at each of each, you know, 50 people okay. from the commission and 50 people from the advocacy groups. Mm -hmm. And everybody agreed that we should play this role, that it's an important thing, that we need to communicate better. And so I said, okay, we're going to establish a website, we're going to establish okay. a Facebook page, we're going to have ways of communicating with you. It's only taken three years, maybe four. <laughs> uh, Good job, Steve. Th yeah, things that happen slowly. Go, go and then they, works yeah, slowly, yes. you know, we didn't. We don't have any budget. We don't have any staff. So it's a little, a little bit hard. But as of this fall, God willing, we now have a beta. As of the fall, we hope to open up this this uh, website and make it available. It's part of.